everyone and welcome to the channel first of all csi net exam form filling is going on in case if you are planning to apply for december 2025 exam please fill the form before the last date it's a quick reminder okay so few days back i made a video upon how you can prepare or what could be your preparation strategy for those who are giving this exam for the first time for the entire beginners right and a lot of you asked me to talk about those who have already given this exam so this video is about it okay this video is for those who have already given this exam earlier be it whether they were serious for the exam or not just if they have attempted this exam earlier in that case this video is for you okay so let's talk about it the question which i want to ask you is that whether you are learning from your mistake or not because the best advantage which you have apart from all the others like if let's say others who are giving this exam along with you so the advantage which you have uh, with those who are giving this exam for the first time is that you have experience you have seen how the exam goes you have uh, like mentally and physically been into that situation so the chances of panicking for it should be less for you okay so that is one advantage which you have because you are already aware about what is going to happen so you don't have the fear of unknown which generally a first timer is going to have right now let's talk about that whether you are learning from it or not now this thing i have been talking about since like since the time i have been teaching csnet okay that the best thing which you can do is learn from your mistakes your response sheet is provided to you so that you can see your mistakes you can work upon them and you do not make those mistakes again in the next time and that is for a very important cause because every six months you are going to have an exam and if you are repeating your mistakes you cannot or if, if you are not changing your way how you are preparing if you are not changing your strategy how you are preparing you cannot expect a different result you will get similar result earlier you got 70 marks this time you will get 75 marks or 80 marks something like that if you will not change your strategy or if you will not change your uh, approach for the exam i'll give you a very simple example of myself so when i gave my exam first time i terribly made a lot of mistakes okay i was like i thought that i am good with organic chemistry because masters i was having organic chemistry as majors i thought i'm good at it and i will be able to solve questions with that in exam but i understood with my result that that is something which i'm doing wrong and that time we were not used to get our response sheet also we have to analyze it from the question paper itself later on okay after the exam we used to have the physical question paper and omr sheet back in those days i'm talking about 2016 17 okay so uh, that's where i realized that these are the mistakes which i'm making and i don't have to repeat them so in the next cycle of exam i found that organic is something which is not working for me i reduced the number of questions especially in part c of organic chemistry i improved more upon physical chemistry which i had advantage because i was a math student i took physics as my majors in my bsc so I had that basic knowledge or basic understanding of physics and maths. So it was easy for me to take over physical chemistry and that was somewhere from where I took forward and I was able to qualify exam in the next turn. And also I realized that or, uh, like the part A, the general aptitude needs more attention. It cannot be neglected. So that is also one thing which I worked upon. So it worked for me because I analyzed my mistakes. I worked upon my mistakes and I did not repeat my mistake in the next time now this if you will hear from anyone who has succeeded this exam in second third fourth any attempt they all will have this thing in common that the time they realized or the moment they realized what mistakes they were doing earlier and they worked upon it their results changed and that can be you also the next time okay so if you analyze your mistakes you understand what is the things which needs to be done and you work upon them you can definitely qualify this exam i am getting a lot of queries from students and instagram is open for you if you guys have any query if you want to talk to me if you want to discuss about strategy and all you can talk to me on my instagram portal uh, like you will see all the links and all in the description of this video okay so you can reach out to me over there and a lot of students reach out to me they also talk about the same thing they tell me about that they have got these much marks and also first thing which i ask them is what is your analysis what do you understand from your mistakes and believe me in most of the cases like 50 percent of thing is solved they just don't talk about it to someone or they just don't realize about it by themselves when i start talking about it within the conversation itself they understand that oh yeah this is something which i was not working upon last time and i will work upon it 
So it is as simple as that. You have that advantage. You have to take it. You have to analyze your uh, response sheet. You have to see what mistakes you have done. Something which are very common. That is what I can talk about. So if you see that there is a certain portion in which you are making a lot of mistakes, like either reduce the number of questions from that portion or try to work upon it. Okay. These are the two strategies. If let's say you don't want to like you think that you can work upon it and then you can go for it. If you think that no, I can just take a break from that. I can work upon some other chapters or some other portion just like I did. You can do that as well. Okay. So switch or include concepts or build up your concept from where you have made a lot of mistakes in part C, especially you have to see that which or how you have selected questions, which portion you have selected more. If let's say you have selected more questions of organic chemistry and you are getting all or most of them incorrect, then analyze that whether you are actually able to solve organic chemistry questions in exam or not. This is a very paradoxical thing which happens in exam because before exam you think like organic is easy, I can easily do that and it is very common. All people who, who study organic chemistry, I was also one of them. We all think like that organic is easy, is easy and we can do questions in CSI net but they trick you with that. They give you an easy question uh, or, a com or a complex question, I would say. But when you try to solve it, you get confused between two options. And in mo most of the cases, you end up doing negative marking. So look upon it. I'm not saying to remove organic chemistry or don't follow organic chemistry. But this is just advice. If you can improve more upon physical chemistry because the chances of getting confusion or chances of getting negative marking from physical chemistry is less as compared to organic chemistry because most of the questions of physical chemistry are straightforward unless you are terribly bad at physical chemistry okay that's a completely different scenario so if you are somewhat good at it you can work upon physical chemistry inorganic chemistry is all in all normal for you okay it's it's something which is which keeps on changing every year it is sometime it's more of uh, concept wise sometime it is more of uh, factual wise so it depends upon the paper itself so look upon it, try to prepare inorganic chemistry in a different approach. Previous year's questions might not work now for, uh, for inorganic chemistry, like all of the previous year's question. You have to also include some questions from the back side of the question, uh, back side of the chapter. Uh, take any standard book, try to see how the questions are asked and whether you understand the concept or not. Uh, if you just don't understand what molecular orbital theory is or how electrons are filled in molecular orbital theory or how sigma and pi bond ligands basically how the orbitals are arranged for uh, sigma donor ligand or pi acceptor ligand how does that happen if you don't understand that then there are chances that if some question will come from that topic in a complex manner you might end up getting confused with that okay so that should not happen with you next thing which is very common with student is that uh, they they know the answer or they think that they have done it good but in exam they panic okay that's the case when you are not doing a lot of test series or you are not attempting a lot of test series okay uh, talking about test series and physical chemistry let me quickly tell you that our physical chemistry batch is going on on our app and on website these are upsilon and upsilon prime batches these are entirely for physical chemistry courses so upsilon batch has only physical chemistry lectures and some mock tests whereas upsilon prime batch has uh, physical chemistry lectures as well as it has full length uh, mock test for CSRNet as well as for gate exam. So if you are preparing for CSRNet and gate both then try to get Epsilon prime batch and if you just want physical chemistry lectures go for Epsilon batch okay. Okay coming back to the topic so we were talking about panicking in exam that's because you are not practicing enough test series and if you are not giving effort before exam you cannot complain okay because after the exam you will say that okay i i did not get time to uh, like give test series or i did not give any one or two any test series or i did not give three hours to the test series i just gave it randomly it i did not put much effort then how you can expect an exam okay because see if you are not sincere for your preparation if you are not sincerely giving test series if you are not sincerely preparing for the exam uh, don't expect good result sincerity is something which is definitely needed okay so out of like persistence consistency and all the other things you have to be sincere for your preparation that is the basic need of preparation okay so if you're panicking in exam if you think that you get panic in exam and because of that your score or these things get affected 
please try to give a lot of mock tests, at least five mock tests. These mock tests will is not ju like just you have to sit and give the mock test. It's not going to give you idea that how brilliant or how intelligent you are. It is just going to give you an idea that how to manage those uh, like 120 questions uh, and how to choose among those questions, how to make choices among those questions in exam and how to utilize the three hours. That is the preparation for exam and this is what a mock test or a test series is going to help you with. Talking about that, we are launching our own test series. So in case if you want to uh, enroll into it, our test series are now live. You can enroll into them. All the links are there in the description of this video. All right. Next thing is your general aptitude. Now general aptitude, of course, chemistry students generally, uh, they keep ignoring general aptitude part, although it is a 30 mark section, it can give you 30 marks. Okay, and I'm not telling you to do all the 15 questions or all attempt all the 20 questions of part A. Try to do at least 10 questions, try to attempt for 20 marks over there. Even if you get 10 marks, that is enough. Okay, that is good score actually. Combining with the other chemistry portion, it will give you a bonus marks. Okay, and believe me, even 0.5 marks is important. Ask that person who has missed GRF by 0.5 marks. They will tell you the pain of 0.5 marks. Okay, so don't leave part A or don't leave section A. You need to practice more. I have an aptitude series. There is an entire playlist for aptitude series. Just search aptitude uh, series for CSRNet and write the name of my channel that is all about chemistry and you will get the playlist. You can watch all the videos. I have made dedicated videos on the course, like on the topic and I have taken different type of questions so that it becomes easy to you to understand how to apply that concept to solve questions, right? See, in most of the cases, you are not someone who does not know things okay you are already aware about concept you know the things but how to like give an exam that's a totally different thing i i believe you that you understand organic chemistry you have you remember reaction mechanisms you remember the name of reactions you know how to derive a mechanism for something you probably on a, any random day you would be better than most of the students who are sitting in the exam but what matters is the exam day and what matters is what you are doing within those three hours. Okay. What matters is whether you are able to solve the questions among those 120 which are asked in exam, whether you are able to do that or not. That's that is what only matters, nothing else. Okay. So prepare for that. Try to do these things. And if you have any other questions regarding it, you can ask me in the comment section below. I'll try to make more videos related to that. Please do subscribe to the channel if you like this video and uh, soon I'll be making a video regarding the prelims of uh, UPSC Geoscientist exam. So stay tuned for that if you are not uh, like aware about it. So UPSC Geoscientist form are already out. You can fill those form, uh, how to fill the form and all the related things are there in the description of this video. You can watch that video as well and uh, see you guys in the next one. Till then have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.